Welcome to Final Lost Versus, your first time watching. Thanks for stopping by the channel and checking out my thoughts. So, J. Cole apologized to Kendrick Lamar. And before we get started on this whole thing, first of all, I want to say is that I did not, I wasn't going to make this video. Somebody gave me a comment today saying hey when one of my j cole songs released last night they said they're disappointed in the project because they can't listen to it no more after j cole apologized to kendrick right and i didn't want to do it because when i literally got on youtube today i've seen a whole bunch of people posting videos on j cole people going off on j cole because he decided to apologize i didn't watch any of the videos they had out there even on x and instagram today it was a whole bunch of opinions people disappointed saying they soft and all these different things that okay whatever but again man i everybody got an opinion and i got mine so whatever your opinion is if you disagree with my opinion it's okay if i disagree with your opinion it's okay but i'm gonna give you my opinion and i'm more and i'm civilized enough to not counsel you or you counsel we shouldn't be trying to counsel me because we don't agree if you got that kind of mentality then you probably don't need to be around what listen to people's opinions in life because somebody's always going to disagree with you so back to j cole so my opinion is is that it's okay it's okay to apologize it's okay and nothing wrong with that before this all started they were boys, right? They were boys. Even Kendrick saying it's a sport. And what I mean is, I want you to watch this video real quick. It's up in the corner. Just check it out real quick. Okay. So back to my thoughts. So with that being in mind, I think, and I'm guilty of it too. And every time a diss drops, we always out there trying to get the diss and we encourage, we all the hype and want to see who comes out on top. You know, when it gets to that point where we get all hungry and want to see blood, like gladiator you want to see who's the best you want to see who takes each other out and all in sport and all in guess is just rap and i'm cool with just rapping competitive banter in nature but i think j cole got to a point that he realized it didn't sit well with him because they had so much love for each other and he even admitted that in the song a numerous times in the song that he loved his brother with the nino brown bar right and then he said, I'm hesitant. I love my brother, but I'm not going to lie. So he is saying this all through this song. When we were saying he's giving them respect, he shouldn't be giving them this much credit. Go for the juggler. And I think as a society, we get to that point. Are you going to be the person with the cell phone holding the camera while somebody's getting beat down and bullied? Or are you going to be the person that puts the camera down and stop the bullying? Which person are you? And I think we get too carried away with that point when we can't apologize. If you have a parent, right? And I think J. Cole's a parent, right? And he's like, am I teaching my son to be a man? Did I call Kendrick and say, hey man, what's up with this disc? What Can we talk about this as men before we get on wax and do it? And I think you want to call that soft, but I think now he's seen that this whole thing is spreading to something that he probably didn't want to get to because look at Jid now, him and baby Kim about to go at it because Jid is call him out now. If you see the video, go Google it where Jid is coming at somebody on um, Kendrick's label now, right? 
So they all, it is spread. And I think Cole said, enough is enough. Enough is enough. You know, and I think he's like, look, I got a son. I got kids. I don't want it to be this way. And if you were a kid, when you were a parent, excuse me, as a parent, you probably got things which you can take back the way you discipline your kids, the way you spoke to your other significant other. Some things you can't ever take back. And you probably won't ever be able to take those things back because it's out on the internet now. So even if he deletes it, Kendrick heard it and it's out there. But look at Jay-Z and Nas now. They boys. They not really boys, but they tolerate each other now, right? So again, um, that's my two cents. You can tell me how you feel about it. If you feel like it's soft or whatever, but I think as a man, as you mature as a man, you realize that, hey, I made a mistake. I should have picked up the phone and called Kendrick first. And say, hey, man, bro, let's talk about this. Were you really shooting shots at me like that? And I know hip hop is one of those things where somebody, and that's why I didn't react to Megan and Nikki. I couldn't do it. It's something I could have handled behind closed doors and talked about it. And I think as reactors and people of music, we encourage this behavior sometimes, but we're like jumping on it first and trying to put it out there. At the end of the day, it's all music. But where does it stop, right? Where does it stop? Where the person with a conscience do I stop and say, you know what? I'm not going to do this. I jumped on Benzino and Eminem. I jumped on all the other ones and whatever. When will it stop, right? And again, it's all creative. You know, you can you can do it and be creative. But I get it. And I'm not trying to be uh, all secure and all sensitive now about this. But I think I can feel what J. Cole is feeling at that moment in time. I think if you would have sat back a little bit and thought about it, maybe he wouldn't have did it. But when people egging you on and say, hey, man, you better get him. You got 24 hours to respond. He heard all of that stuff. Forget the text he got or somebody called him. He heard all that stuff. And he reacted. As a man, don't let nobody push you and come in your face and all the other stuff, right? We get taught that as, a, as young kids and young men. Don't let somebody bully you, right? And I get it. I get it. <sighs> all right, man. That's all I got to say. Again, I ain't got nothing. I, I still rock with Cole. I mean, hey, it's gonna probably going to hit him image-wise for other people out there because they're not going to take it as gentle as I'm going to take it. Some other rappers are like, hey... This wasn't even rap battle to begin with. Someone like, hey, why did you apologize? You know, and they're making fun of the might delete later now, you know, and a lot of rappers are upset with Cole. I heard see Mick Jenkins and other ones like, hey, you know, I'm disgusted. I'm disappointed. And I seen other people from like shoe game, like, hey, I I, I can rock with that. Crooks out. It's okay. It's okay. When is it cool to be a man and apologize? I don't know, man. I right, mean, that's my point of view. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. You're entitled to your opinion. I'm entitled to mine. I'm going to leave the comments open. You can go at me all you want to. Have fun with it, all right? It's FLB. Subscribe. Hit the like button, man. Peace. Just like music.